So this is all Excel, and I want to tell you why I decided to design this infographic here in Excel instead of using another tool. So if I'm working on a project that has a chart as the central feature like this, particularly a relatively complex chart like this one, ultimately I'm probably going to be using something like Excel to build it, because it's ultimately easier to just build a little data set like this with categories, subcategories, and values than it would be to try to actually design this whole thing from scratch. But after you have it, why not just copy paste it into another program? Honestly, sometimes I will do that. I'll just copy paste this whole chart in. Excel's pretty cool because it gives you layers for each of the elements so you can edit them pretty well, meaning each little section of the chart is a separate layer. And so if you paste it into Sketch or into Photoshop or whatever you use, you have editable layers, which is great. But in this case, the bottom line was that the other elements in this design were all just as easy to design in Excel as they would have been in any other design tool. So I've got these little card elements that I'm reusing over and over again. So what those are is literally just an, the image I've dropped in, some text, a couple of icons, and in the background it's just some rounded rectangles and a couple of shapes. All this stuff is under the insert tab. We have the ability to drop in pictures, shapes, icons, all this kind of stuff up here. So this works just the way it would anywhere else, right? Insert shapes, set the size, set the rounding, add in your text, style your text. And then once I had this initial design, I could just copy paste this and swap out my text and swap out my images. All these other little shape features are just features that are built right into Excel, right? These little lines are just an option under the uh, shape drop-down menu here. We have the option to drop this stuff in. So ultimately it was faster and easier to just build this whole thing in Excel than try to do it in what people would call a proper design tool, you know, doing it in Illustrator or Photoshop or somewhere else. And honestly, the thing I love about this so much is that a lot of this is editable now, right? So I can go in here, my chart can be updated with my actual data if I need it to be. And it's very easy for me to swap out these cards for other cards and I have a design that could be a little more dynamic if I wanted to reuse this for say another region or something like that. People are sometimes just flabbergasted when they see this and I tell them I did it in Excel and just can't understand why I would ever do that. But there are situations where it really does make Makes sense. And the skills you use to do this are going to align with any other design skills you have from any other tools. The interface for editing all this stuff works basically the same way as anything else. I've, I say it all the time, but it's all very much just like PowerPoint. So I just always tell people, play around with some of these design features in Excel, because even if you're not building big fancy infographics, just having the ability to style your text properly, move elements around the page, customize your colors, customize your charts is a really easy way to make your work stand out in Excel no matter what you're working on. Anyway, hope that helps everyone. Bye for now.